Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com barre oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule. Sade program pesh kar dehan anek pashawa. Kirpa dekho suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. To prevent the Earth from reaching year zero, what are some of the changes we need to make? Our demands, government stop subsidizing animal agriculture and start promoting organic plant agriculture. Two, media report the truth about animal agriculture's devastating impact on human health, the environment, and our fellow creatures. We plead, one, environmental, conservation, health, animal welfare and religious organizations adopt a public vegan policy. Two, consumers stop buying animal products. Climate Crisis, Countdown to Year Zero, Part 5 of 7. Continue watching to find out more. Alito Chimachukuma means hello, how are you in the Choctaw language. I am Shikoba. The people of the Choctaw Nation are grateful to you for your good stewardship of the planet and thank you for all your kind actions to preserve it. May you be blessed for your thoughtfulness and care. Welcome to part 5 of our 7 part series, Climate Crisis, Countdown to Year Zero. Warning, you might find the content here disturbing, but the truth must be revealed. In our previous episodes, we learned that at our current rate of devastation, we could destroy the earth by the year 2026. However, if humanity makes a global shift to a vegan lifestyle, we can save and restore the planet. But how can we make this change by 2026? Dr. Sai Lesh Rao, one of the brilliant minds behind the creation of the internet, is dedicated to preventing year zero from happening. He explains that in 8 short years, the internet went from something that no one had even heard about to something that everyone needed to have. He believes the same model used to develop the internet can be used to achieve world vegan. The first step, he says, is to develop a clear mission statement. Secondly, every obstacle to success must be addressed and solutions must be developed. On today's program, We'll travel to Costa Rica to learn more about the exciting and inspiring project Vegan World 2026. I was just uh, looking at that beautiful tree. It's a tall one, it's called uh, Mountain Guarumo. It's funny how it fights to get light, then it flourishes beautifully. So the mission of Vegan World 2026 is to co-create a culture of normalized nonviolence. So we are on top of a hill that used to be coffee farms and cattle ranches, and it has now been turned into a native forest. And the idea is to understand how to live in harmony with nature, so that we are not running away from animals, we are not running away from spiders or killing them off when they come into our homes. We are figuring out how to live in harmony with nature. We have to transition to a way of living where we can return land back to nature, 
bring back the forest, bring back the wild animals so that we can sequester carbon, heal the climate and solve the biodiversity loss issue. So essentially returning Earth back to its pristine form, you know, Eden, back to nature. We are taking care of animals as opposed to constantly killing them, which is what we're doing now. I mean, the conditions are right for a rainbow. Uh, the sun is just peeking out. Critical mass is less than 3% of a population moving in a particular direction. There is no way to humanely kill an animal. When you become a vegan, you are actually regaining your purpose. Awakening to Survival 2026. We envision a world of love, unity, and abundance, but this requires us to change course at this perilous time. Since 1970, more than half of wild animals have been killed. At the rate we are killing wildlife, we will virtually have no wild animals left by the year 2026. This loss means whales, penguins, monkeys, koala bears, tigers, eagles, giraffes. None of these animals would be left except in zoos. This is the biggest crisis of our lifetime because it threatens our very existence. This horrific milestone will mark an ecological turning point. Year Zero will present unimaginable extreme weather on a scale that the human race has never experienced. Extreme drought, massive wildfires, flood events. That extreme weather will in turn trigger political and societal disruption and chaos as millions are displaced and become refugees. From cities to rural areas, land and homes will become uninhabitable. Animal agriculture is the leading cause of global deforestation, habitat destruction, soil degradation, wildlife extinction, and ocean dead zones because it's so resource intensive and highly inefficient. Animals eat almost 40 times what they produce as meat, dairy, or eggs. 83% of agricultural land is currently used for raising farm animals for food. The good news is more than 80% of the food humans consume is already plant-based. Less than 20% of the food humans consume is meat, dairy, and eggs. When we reduce that percentage to zero by 2026, we will have made substantial progress towards reversing climate change, wildlife extinction, and deforestation. Thereby preventing year zero. It is totally unnecessary to eat animals for health or survival. Following a plant-based lifestyle can reverse and prevent 14 of the 15 leading causes of death Due to the increasing variety of plant-based food options, it is now easier than ever to go vegan. Therefore, it is totally unnecessary to exploit, enslave, torture and kill animals, or to engage in institutionalized animal abuse. We reject the system of forced breeding, mutilation and killing of the animals. We demand the system of normalized violence be replaced by a system of normalized nonviolence. We commit to supporting this vision and to assist in the joy and wellness of all beings through a vegan lifestyle. Our guiding principles are, one, all animals have the inalienable right to live free of exploitation, forced breeding, torture, and slaughter. Two, we reject the idea that religious beliefs, cultural traditions, and economic arguments are valid reasons for denying them these inalienable rights. Three, we believe in the intersectionality of these basic rights with inalienable human rights. Compassion for all life is infinitely sustainable. Our demands, government stop subsidizing animal agriculture and start promoting organic plant agriculture. Two, media report the truth about animal agriculture's devastating impact on human health, the environment, and our fellow creatures. We plead, one, environmental, conservation, health, animal welfare, and religious organizations adopt a public vegan policy. Two, consumers stop buying animal products. I'm so grateful to all of you, all of you, for coming together to start this process off. I went through something very similar with the internet. 
We did exactly the same thing during the internet era. A whole bunch of people got together and we decided to create these documents that list out the best practices for how do you make any connection on the internet. In most cases, we just took what was already there and said that seemed to be the best way to do it. And we endorsed it. And wherever they didn't know how to do it, we actually set up a task force and we figured out how to do it. How are y'all doing? Our question was within the workforce development umbrella. And the question was, how do we provide jobs for those leaving slaughterhouses and other animal harming jobs? Nobody wants to work at a slaughterhouse. It's alternative production. And when you're good with your hands, farmers of old could do anything. There's a tremendous commonality between chicken farming and mushroom farming. One of the answers is, is going to be grassroots, literally, like individuals being there, boots on the ground. So if we, as vegans, we go to them, walk with them. Here's a bridge. Come and spend your life working to save the animals. Same if we act to the same process. Right now we have these incredible companies which are plant based. So our group came up with, I think, a really exciting campaign idea to start a campaign that gets plant-based companies to offer first right of refusal for jobs to current slaughterhouse workers. Isn't that cool? So the way it worked uh, this weekend, we basically identified questions in different areas. You know, what are the questions we have? How do we make the transition? So it's all about how because we know what to do. We know where we are doing it, when we are doing it, why we are doing it. So all the other questions we have answered is only how do we do it. So we broke it down into pieces and 100 people are coming together and asking questions. You get a variety of questions. You get this diversity. It's impossible for one person to ever, ever do that. Mm. And then people can walk around and say, okay, I'd like to address that question. I want to work on that question. So then we create these study groups around these questions that haven't been answered. How do we end subsidizing animal products for food? And as a corollary, how do we get animal agriculture to pay for their fair share of land and water that they use? One of the main problems is this intrinsic marriage between government and industry. We have, for example, the USDA is this revolving door organization that governs big ag, but most of the people that are in leadership positions are former big ag employees or executives. And then the study groups become formal task forces so we can then go off and figure out what are the best practices for addressing these questions. And then we have a cohesive set of recommendations as to how this new system of normalized nonviolence looks like. How exciting to learn about this promising method to promote veganism around the globe. May all those involved be blessed abundantly. Caring viewers, thank you for your company today. Please join us again on Monday, May 4 to find out more. Through heaven's blessings, may your days be filled with peace, harmony, and spiritual upliftment. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash PE.